The other day I was popping into town anyway with my daughter and she asked could we pop by Primark on our way and of course I said yes I happen to love Primark. Now I'm that size I don't fit much of the clothes in there so I go straight to the makeup section as soon as I get in there and I have picked up a bag full of beauty products. Now I will just say just so there's no confusion here in Ireland Primark is actually called pennies. It's the exact same company everything is normally marked with Primark anyway here in Ireland it's just called pennies I don't know why. Also I should say hello and welcome to my channel my name is Marlene and normally I would do plus size fashion here on my channel but I do love myself a little bit of beauty stuff so I thought I'd simply just share with you the pieces I picked up from the beauty counter in Primark. First up, I picked up a dry shampoo. We are an entire household, apart from my husband, that use dry shampoo pretty much every single day. So we go through with these cans quite fast. So I picked up two cans just to have them spare. They are very inexpensive. They're a great product. They are this Batiste one, so it's not a Primark's own brand, but I really, really love these and Primark is the cheapest price to get them. Another favorite of mine from Primark, and I use these every single day, it's little microfiber cloth. They are for taking off your makeup. They come in a pack of three, this size here, but they are so soft and they remove most makeup immediately. The only thing is that you have to literally hand wash them with soap to get the makeup out of them. Otherwise, they'll stay stained even though they're clean, but they are absolutely fantastic. All I have to do after I use this just with water, I literally just wash my face with the soap and once again, take it all off and I'm done and dusted. They are literally four euros for three of these cloth and they're absolutely fantastic. So they've definitely changed up my makeup removal game. That's for sure ever since I got these. So I highly recommend them. If you can get your hands on them when they're there, snap up a pack or two. Another must have I have from Primark are their sheet masks. I'm obsessed with these masks and they are so inexpensive. These, some of these are 90 cents, some of them are 130. I use maybe two of these a week, so it's really, really inexpensive. Literally just after I remove my makeup with my microfiber cloth and cleanse my face, I pop one of these on while I'm just kind of footing around, sitting reading a book or whatever I'm doing, take it off and you literally just rub the rest of the product into your face voila you are done i use these sometimes in the evening sometimes in the morning and as i say they they like they're so inexpensive and they have so many different kinds so if you want to kind of up your skincare routine a little bit these ones could definitely be for you Next up, I picked up a little clear storage container for those little cotton pads. It's open here in the front. Maybe I should just open it up so we can have a look at it. Anyway, I'm currently trying to kind of organize my makeup area and just kind of streamline it a bit while still keep everything at hand. And I thought maybe this one would be nice and pretty. So I assume you can open it. Is there tape on it? Yeah, there's tape on the sides. That's why I can't open it. Well, that tape was unnecessary it was already fully wrapped but anyway once you take the tape off you can take off your lid you can put all your little cotton pads in here and I suppose you'll just pull one or two out as you need them I'm simply just as I say trying to kind of streamline and organize my desk just so I have as much space and everything is still accessible and I thought this one could be fantastic I really really like it it's very sleek and it matches the kind of little round tower I have for all my products so I love this very inexpensive too. Next up, we're coming into the skincare products that I bought. And these two are new for my regime. One is salicylic, is that how it's called? I have no clue how you pronounce it, but it's some kind of acid booster serum. And the other one is hyaluronic acid. I already use hyaluronic acid, especially in the morning time, but this one, salicylic, blah, blah, blah. I have heard a lot of people using it and I have heard a lot of good reviews about these products. They are little serums. Let me take them out so we can see them. Boop. They are little squeeze bottles like these with the little kind of, I don't even know what you call this thingy. Well, this is kind of like a milky white kind of thingy. I definitely need to read the instructions on the boxes, that's for sure. But I thought I'd give them a try and try them out. I did that when I started with vitamin C as well. I have some vitamin C products as well. I started out with the one from Penny's Primark and I really, really enjoyed the feel of it on my skin. And I've then moved on to a better known brand as well. But I still love the Primark's uh, vitamin C. So I thought I'd try these two out, see how they work on my skin. Do I like them? Do they do anything? Hopefully they can remove all my wrinkles. That'd be great. But yeah, do you know what? Inexpensive. And as I said, I've heard great reviews about these ones. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying them. But as I said, I've also picked up the vitamin C. This one here is, I assume that it's a little squeeze bottle. Yes, it is. It's like the other one. It is just a vitamin C. 
3% booster serum, it says. But this one is new. This one is a vitamin C reviving face mist. Now, I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup on days when I'm not filming, but I do film film two to three, maybe four days a week. And I wear a lot of makeup. And often, I've, I've noticed here in my kind of older age, now the menopause is starting to set in and all this sort of stuff, my skin is getting really dry. So I have been looking for some kind of mist that could kind of refresh in my face during the day. And I thought vitamin C, this could be perfect. I need to just kind of read everything about it, but it does say it's for dull and tired skin, energizing, hydrating. All these products are vegan as well, which is absolutely fantastic for those who require that. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd try this one out again, four euros, and I love the other vitamin C products that I have from Benny's. So I thought I'd try this one as well. Um, if you're interested in an update, let me know on how it kind of gets on after using these products. So you'd have to leave me a comment if you want to follow up on the products. The last few pieces I have for today are all makeup. I love the makeup from Primark. You can find some amazing quality products in there. Don't get me wrong, there's a few that that's not so good, but they have some amazing pieces. I have picked up not a full face, but the one product, and I'm gonna start with this because this is the best. I am wearing this foundation as we speak, and it is literally the best foundation I have ever found. It sits fantastic on my mature skin. It doesn't kind of crease too much, even if I wear it for a full day of filming or anything. And it doesn't, most importantly, dry out my face during the day. It is called my Perfect Color, Perfect Finish Foundation. It's medium to full coverage, natural finish, vitamin C and vitamin E. What color is mine? Mine is the Nougat one. And I actually love it so much, I picked up another two bottles. Obviously, Primark are not known for having a huge color range, that's being honest with you. But the quality of this foundation and the, the, the way it sits on my skin, Magnifique. I absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. But I also picked up another foundation because I do love playing with foundation. This one is a double coverage matte foundation, medium to full coverage, all day long wear with hyaluronic acid. This one is a little bit more expensive. This one was six euros and my new favorite there is only 350. So this one is in the color vanilla. Now, obviously I'm already wearing a full face, so I'm not going to start taking it out and trying it out. I haven't tried this one yet. Um, as I leave me a comment if you want to see more about makeup and stuff. But the foundations from Primark are absolutely fantastic. I really, really love them. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out and continue using this one. But I also picked up and I splashed out a little bit because this one was six years as well. This one, and this is my first time ever trying this, it's a tinted moisturizer. I have never used a tinted moisturizer before. I got this one in the color 03. I think I have it open, have I? Yeah, I do. And I, I'm honestly, I'm dying to try this one out because I say I don't wear a lot of makeup on days where I don't. Oh, did this look like full coverage foundation? Okay, well, we're going to go full on the hand here. This might actually be a little bit too dark for me. I don't really know how you're supposed to use this product, but oh, it's a little bit yellow on my hand. We'll see. But anyway, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it out and see how it works because... Again, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I like just having a little bit of coverage on days when I'm not filming. Okay, well, my hand is now tinted moisturizer, but sure, why not? Let's try it out. Again, if you want the update, you're gonna have to let me know. What else did I get? I got an eyeshadow primer. I've never used a base primer from Primark before. That's being honest with you. Oh, look at this. It's one of those lipstick kind of things. The ones I have, you just kind of open up a little bit. It has a little bit of color to it as well. Have a little bit there. Oh, it does come up clear, so, so that's fine. It doesn't really feel like I have much of a product on. The one I have is a little bit sticky. I think that's a Revolution one. This is not sticky at all. Oh. No, the moisturizer is not sticky at all either. Okay, I like this. I don't tend to wear primer on my eye, um, eyes all that terribly much, to be honest with you. So I just bought this to try it and it, it was only three euros as well. So that was great. I What else did I got? I got a set of brushes and I blooming love Primax brushes. They have some amazing ones. I'm not going to lie to you. My favorite brushes are the Sigma brushes. I have a small collection of those, but at, at times you can go through a lot of brushes. So I thought I'm gonna try these. A little set of four for eyeshadows. They are blooming soft, I tell you. Oh, a little packing brush down there. 
a looser packing brush and then two blending brushes fantastic fantastic i look forward to try these and i actually love the color of them as well do they have any no there's a sticker on i think can't really tell but uh, four little brushes how much did i pay for them seven euros so it'd be interesting to try these out see if they can beat my sigma i don't know if they can but anyway what else did we get oh yes this one this one is a little eyeshadow palette. It looks like a box of chocolate. And as far as I know, I think this one is the dupe of the Makeup Revolution brand. I'm a huge fan of Makeup Revolution as well. So I saw this and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to try this one. Let me just cut it open. Just removing the plastic there. We have, you have eight little colors in there. And I picked this palette here. They did have three different ones with three different kind of shades in it. But this one is the most neutral one. And I love that because I, I tend to just wear neutrals, but it has the orange shade in it, the orange style shades in it, which is what I prefer. Shall we do a little swat test on top of our tinted moisturizer? Oh, that one is very light. Four little colors there. There is actually color in the middle there as well. It's just very, very light. That is the top row. We're wearing jeans, we'll be okay. Oh, everything is falling apart here now. <laughs> okay boop 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 where's the last one there boop down there these are absolute gorgeous shades to be honest with you absolutely beautiful and the glitter ones are gorgeous as well i'm looking forward to playing with this but i do love myself a good neutral palette in the warmer tones that suits me perfect so it's adorable packaging is adorable as well and it's a perfect handbag size isn't it love it so what else have we got? I have a lip duo kind of thing. Again, I have full set of makeup on. In one end, we have a lip liner and in the other end, we have a lipstick. And again, I was kind of thinking of this one for my handbag more than anything else, just so I have less product to carry around with me. Shall we do a little swat? I will do both just so you can see the color. Oh, that's a nice kind of glossy finish on that. I like that. Close, 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 close. There, right there at the end. Look at that. It's a nice, neutral, easy color. I think that's going to suit me very, very well. I really, really like it. And again, wicked inexpensive. What was this one? Four euros for this one with a lipstick and a liner. Absolutely fab. I'm going to have to try this one out for real. Last but not least, I have a mascara. And the reason I picked these one up is because I am the biggest mascara snob there is in the world. I only wear Max Factor. I have tons of other mascaras as well, but every single time I go back to Max Factor. That's being honest with you. Um, I can't even remember what it's called, it's false lash effect or something like that. And this one, the pink one, it's a false lash, lash effect and the brush is the exact same as the mas Max Factor. Now my daughter actually used this mascara. She has longer lashes than me and she gets great results out of this one. So I thought I'm going to have to try it. Now my husband last Christmas actually bought me a mascara. Something completely random he bought me for Christmas. Absolutely fantastic. But he'd seen the ad and thought, hmm, my wife would love that. It was absolutely fantastic. He bought me a Maybelline. It's kind of like a lengthening mascara. This is a dupe of it, which I absolutely love. Now I use the Max Factor, that's, I'm wearing that now. I have the Max Factor on and the base. And I have two coats of that. And then I just finish off with the Maybelline just at the tips, just to lengthen it. But this one is the same. So I thought I'm gonna have to try this. So in the morning when I have to get up for work or whatever, yes, it's the exact same. This one is a little bit more sturdy than the Maybelline. But other than that, it's the exact same. It's just like a plastic kind of thing. This will be fun to see if they can actually live up to the other two that I have. Oh, fantastic. Very inexpensive again, a four euros a pop. It fell down the floor. Um, I look forward to trying it. But that is all the pieces that I picked up in today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video was some kind of useful for you. This is just me sitting plodding along in my bedroom sharing with you what I got in Primark. But that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching and leave me a comment if you want to see an update on any of the products. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.